Moments ago, the Japanese organization Nihon Hidankyo was announced the winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. It's a grassroots movement of atomic bomb survivors from Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. These survivors are known as Japan's Hibakusha. The organization beat hundreds of other nominees to win the prize. The Nobel Peace Committee said, quote, that nuclear powers have a responsibility to uphold the nuclear taboo. The organization's head, Toshiyuki Mimaki, said the prize would be a great force to appeal to the world that the abolition of nuclear weapons can be achieved. For more, let's speak to our foreign editor, Philip Turl. Hello to you, Philip. Uh, we were discussing this when the award was announced. Take us through a little bit of the work that this Japanese organization does. Right. Well, uh, you mentioned the word hibakushas. They are survivors of the two atomic bomb attacks in Japan at the end of the Second World War on the 6th and 9th of August 1945 on Hiroshima and on Nagasaki. Just to remind you, uh, 70,000 people at least, and some saying up to 250,000 people, died in Hiroshima, uh, 40,000 in Nagasaki. But there were also many survivors who suffered uh, burns and nuclear fallout. Uh, 650,000 people became known as uh, uh, hibakushas, as uh, at the end of the war, and they are the people that Nihan Hidankyo uh, are standing up for today. They've been fighting with the Japanese government to get them rights and for them to be uh, given special status. Uh, there are dwindling numbers today. Uh, the last count that I can find dated from uh, 2020, where only 136,000 are still alive out of the 650,000 from 1945. That number has undoubtedly gone down since then. So this was a push, I think, by the uh, Nobel Peace Prize uh, commissioned to choose an organization that is standing up for people who are elderly today, who may not be around much longer, but who are uh, there to underline the perils of nuclear war and to try to stress uh, that trying to obtain nuclear weapons is not good for uh, the future of the planet. Yeah, and since winning the award, um, the uh, organization Nihon Hidankyo also said Gaza was like Japan was nearly 80 years ago. So given this war in the Middle East, or the one in Ukraine for that matter, was this, a pro uh, is this choice surprising for you? I think you could look at it this way round. At the, on the one side, they are giving support to a group that's already been nominated uh, three previous, uh, on three previous occasions for uh, the Nobel Peace Prize, but hasn't got it. Uh, so fourth time lucky. Uh, coming now, I think it's not really a coincidence when one looks at the situation in the Middle East, uh, where uh, Gaza has been... Uh, almost totally destroyed over the past year due to the Israeli bombing raids, uh, where there's a growing threat of nuclear war with Iran, where there's also the threat of uh, nuclear confrontation uh, with Russia, uh, where you have uh, North Korea that's trying to get hold of nuclear weapons, uh, and a growing fear that this will could spiral out of control and lead to a nuclear war around the world. Uh, one of the things that Nihan Hidankyo, this organization that's won the Nobel Peace Prize, is also fighting for, as well as the rights of these Japanese victims of the uh, end of the Second World War uh, nuclear bomb attacks in Japan, is for testing on nuclear weapons to end and also for financing of nuclear weapons to end as well. And I think that this is certainly going to put them on the map as far as that fight is concerned, but also maybe come as a warning to the more general population in the world that nuclear weapons are still a threat uh, and they're something that should uh, be looked at very seriously uh, and done away with, hopefully, uh, as soon as possible.